Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So a few weeks ago, I posted my 25 item fall capsule wardrobe video. If you haven't seen it, I will leave it up here for you to watch and in the description down below. I think that capsule was one of my best that I've ever made. To me, it felt really fun and versatile and it's just all pieces I was so excited to wear. A lot of you guys were requesting an outfits video using the pieces in that capsule, so that's what I'm gonna do for you today. And I'm not gonna lie, I am super excited to see how many outfits I can create just using those pieces. But before we get into the outfits, I really quickly just wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Babbel. So if you haven't heard of Babbel before, they are one of the top language and learning apps with the aim to teach you usable and conversational language skills. Three out of three, baby. High score. Their lessons are designed by real life, like actual human language teachers so that you can go out and practice and actually use what you've learned in everyday life. Their lessons are designed for any language level from beginner to advanced, and you can customize how long and how often you take your own lessons so you can learn at your own pace. I've been using Babbel to brush up on my French language skills because even though French is part of the Canadian language curriculum, I feel like I never took it seriously and really just missed out on the opportunity to learn another language. And I think with fall finally here, it's just like a new feeling of freshness and new opportunities. So whether you're headed back to school, maybe you're traveling, on exchange, or just wanting to learn a new skill, Babbel is an all-in-one tool that can easily help you get started. And if using an app is not really your style, Babbel also offers live classes and you even get two free classes to try with your subscription. So if you are curious about learning a new language or simply just want to practice a new skill, you can head to the link in the description below or scan this QR code to get 60% off your Babbel subscription. And for whatever reason it doesn't work out for you, Babbel offers a 20 day money back guarantee. So it's a no brainer in my opinion. Merci beaucoup Babbel for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the outfit. In this capsule, I will be sharing a total of 30 pieces, including bags and accessories this time. And the breakdown looks like this. An oversized white t-shirt, a black long sleeve tee, a silk black tank top, this sculptural knit tank from Totem, a white button down, a blue button down, an oversized gray cashmere sweater, a striped cashmere sweater for those French girl vibes, this really cool puff sleeve mohair sweater, a black blazer, a brown blazer, a checked blazer, this amazing LBD, a pair of black wide leg trousers, a pair of neutral ones because you don't always want to wear black, a silk maxi skirt, a pair of indigo blue jeans, a pair of light blue jeans, a pair of black jeans, a trench coat, a moto jacket, green boots for a pop of color, a pair of black boots, these really cool textured patent knee high boots, a pair of Converse sneakers, black ballet flats, a black belt, a brown belt, my Polen Nuff bag, and the suede tote. So let's see how many outfits we can come up with. All right, so for this first look, this is basically my style uniform. I always just love to wear a basic blazer, t-shirt, pair of jeans, and a pair of boots or sneakers. This is no different, and I just think this looks really elevated and chic. I have a pair of a little bit wider, a goldie denim, my favorite t-shirt from Arquette, and this amazing Jean-Paul Gaultier blazer that I thrifted from Farfetch. And does this really count as a second outfit when all you do is take the same outfit and just put a coat over it? For this video, I am saying yes. In the fall, I think a trench coat just makes everything better. This one is from Everlane. I've had it for years and I just want to point out this Polen bag I feel like elevates every look. I think if you get yourself a really cool chic bag that really can be dressed up and dressed down, it can take you so far. Outfit number three is, I think it's just a take on fall with the checked blazer. All I did was switch out the black blazer for the check one just to give it a different vibe. And I think that's just like a really easy way to swap out your style uniform while still feeling like yourself. And then this one, okay, when you switch out one piece, you can really see how different the outfit can look. So I just swapped out the boots for some Converse. It's still super casual. And then I also swapped out the Polen bag, which is a little more chic, elevated, and structured for this suede one from Songmont. They gifted this to me and I've been testing it out. I've been wearing it every day. I have been loving it. 
All right, it's time to elevate it up a notch. So I switched out the lighter wash of denim for this more indigo wash. These jeans are still a bit long on me. They're from Citizens of Humanity, but I do like how slouchy and wide leg they are. And I am obsessed with this wash. I just think it is so chic um, and just makes every outfit look a little bit more formal and put together. So I also wanted to show you that I just tucked in this knit totem tank top, but it's actually like a peplum top. So it's got a bit of an exaggerated waistline. So you can wear it either way and I think it looks really good. Then I decided to just layer on the black vintage blazer because I love a good layer and I think this is a really good display of how to play around with texture. So it's not just a flat outfit. The tank top is knitted while the blazer is a bit more flat. So it really just adds a little bit of depth and dimension to the look. This one is such a 90s minimalist chic vibe. I absolutely love it. I cuffed the jeans up so they're a little bit more of an appropriate length on me, but I do think it looks kind of retro and cool. And then I just threw on this long t-shirt from Cotton, kept everything tucked in, and I think it looked so good. And then in you know the fall, we're always calling for a layering piece. So I decided to take my very good, the good brown blazer from Aritzia. I found out the name of it. It's called the Generation Blazer. So it is a wool blend blazer, which I like because a lot of the blazers from Aritzia are now poly. So it's very, very sad, but I loved the way this look turned out. And then just switching out the brown for black to make it a little bit more of a classic look but still interesting because of this amazing button detailing on this blazer. I think this blazer is just so cool and just makes a basic outfit look a lot more elevated and neat. Yes, I just think it's neat. All right, so I wanted to switch out the top for a Oxford button down just to show you how I would wear this in the fall. So it's been a bit warmer and this is the more, I guess, summery way that I would wear it. These jeans are actually meant to be cuffed like this and I do like that large exaggerated cuff. It's a little bit interesting and different and I love it paired with the Mary Jane. I think the top of the outfit is a little bit more masculine and beachy and then this Mary Jane ballet flat from 80 I just think makes it really feminine and brings it back for me which I love. And then I just decided to throw on the trench coat again to make the outfit feel a little bit more complete, put together and you know actually decently warm. And then this, I just decided to switch out the ballet flats for the boots. You can see how it instantly changes the look. And some of you guys might think that this outfit makes me look shorter, but that's not really what I'm focusing on in this look. I think it's just playing around with your clothes and just seeing what fits. This is what the outfit looks like with the jeans fully rolled down. They are a bit long on me, but it does give a bit more of a lengthening effect just so you can see the difference. This look is something that I would wear to work, maybe on like a casual Friday. I love the light blue shirt that I'm wearing with the denim paired together. I love blue denim with a blue shirt. I just think it looks so good. Then I decided to tuck in the shirt to just give a little bit more definition in my waist. And I think with the blazer, it just looks really chic. And you know, the draping over the shoulders thing, no one actually wears their coats like this, but it does look really great for the outfit. And then I just paired it with my pointed black boots for a bit more of an elevated look. With this look, I think it's just a little bit more casual and I love the idea of the stripe with the sweater from Reformation, the bit more of a slouchy bag. It's a little less structured, so it definitely makes this outfit a bit more casual. And then pairing it back to the Mary Jane ballet flats, I just think it looks really pretty and feminine, but still at the same time leading into the menswear that I love. And then I just wanted to show you that you can play around with your clothes. So I rolled up the jeans just to give a bit more of a cropped, different look to the denim. Did I do this outfit already? Oh yeah, I did. But it was basically, I swapped out the boots for the Mary Janes. So I don't know, you can just see you change one thing in an outfit and it definitely changes the vibe. So we're back to my uniform again. And here's just another really casual look. So I just swapped out the blazer for the gray sweater from 
Uncle Studios. This is something I think it's just like really easy. This is something I would wear on a weekend, going to meet a friend for a coffee. And I love the idea of just throwing on a trench coat and then a sweater over top. I think it's so chic and elevated. Definitely would wear this anywhere and everywhere. It's just so casual and cool. Getting dressed doesn't have to be complicated. And then this look is just another weekend uniform. Instead of any heels or flats, I'm just wearing a pair of sneakers, my moto jacket, a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. It's just easy, casual. I would wear this going for a coffee, going to the grocery store, just going for a walk. All right, now we're gonna elevate it a little bit. So I swapped out the t-shirt for this silk tank top. I said in my other video that because I cut my hair short and then my style is fairly masculine, a little bit more on the androgynous, leaning into menswear side, I wanted to really play around with more feminine elements to my outfit. And I think a silk tank like this is a really great way to do that for me. So I just paired it back to my favorite jeans, threw on the blazer, which I love that structured shoulder and kind of how it just like cinches in the waist a little bit. It really just gives a really cool hourglass fit. And then just threw on my cowboy boots and I think this outfit is super chic. I am really into brown this season. I'm so glad that it is back and it's not really like stuck in the 70s. I think brown can feel a little bit vintage, but for me, it just, I don't know, it feels really fresh and cool. And I love it against a light blue like this. I think it just really allows it to pop. And all I did was just swap out the black boots because they were feeling a little tired. I wanted something different. I just wanted to try it with the green boots. I think it's actually kind of fun. And then keeping in with that silk tank top, I don't know, I really like this outfit. I'm loving a cuff jean, it's a lot of fun. And that pull -in bag, just so good. If you guys want a full review on it, let me know. And then with this look, all I did was switch the shoe. I uncuffed the jeans and rolled them down to their full length. And all it does for me is again, just turn it into a bit more of a feminine look that's still really casual, really easy to wear, not too fussy, but it has all the elements and the sort of the balance between the masculine and the feminine that I'm looking for with my style right now. All right, so all I did was take that last outfit and layered this amazing Isabel Morant puff sleeve mohair sweater over top. I love this sweater. It is exaggerated, but simple at the same time. Very feminine but also kind of edgy and cool. It just kind of has it all for me. So I just think it's a really simple way to elevate an otherwise basic outfit. It just adds a little bit of drama, something interesting, something textured. And I just decided to layer my moto jacket over it. This is probably exactly how I would wear it um, because the sleeves were a bit too puffy to actually fit into the jacket, but I think it's kind of a vibe. You can see I tried here, but I don't know. It doesn't really work for me. <laughs> And then with this look, I just swapped out the Mary Jane flats for my textured boots just to add something different, a little bit of shininess and dimension to the look. And then I just layered the trench coat over top. So now it becomes a little bit more of, I would say like an evening look, still casual, just a very easy swap to change a look if you wanna feel a little bit more elevated nighttime going out kind of vibe. All right, now we're getting into some black on black, some delicious monochromatic dressing. These are a pair of one of my vintage Levi's. They're not a 501, they're not a 512. I don't quite remember. They're like 565, some code. I'll leave it on the screen for you. But I just really like this idea of doing the black on black or sort of the washed denim with the shiny silkiness of the shirt. And then I just wanted to throw on the green boots just because I thought it would be a fun little pop of color. I think brown and black go so well together. I think it's a great combination and I wouldn't be afraid of trying it out. Same with black and navy. I think it's just a good look and just something different. And then obviously we're just gonna go into an all black everything moment. It's just super easy. If you don't know what to wear, just wear all black or all one color that is because if you find black a little too harsh, then you know, go for navy or something else, but it looks good. 
Okay, I just can't get enough of this sweater, so I wanted to bust it out as a layer, and again, we have another all black everything outfit. This is a really great monochromatic look for me, and I just love the texture that the sweater adds in, and that is one of my favorite tips. If you are wanting to dress in all one color, Combining a bunch of different textures together is what's really going to give it depth and dimension. So we have the roughness of the denim, the sort of nubby fuzziness of the sweater, and then the sleek and smooth leather in my boots and in my belt. And I think it just makes for a look that has a lot of depth to it. All right, so it's time to swap out the jeans and bring in this satin skirt. This is a maxi skirt that I got from Reformation. I also had it tailored because it was a little bit too long. I tried tucking the tank top in, but I didn't really like how that looked, so I decided to leave it all out and untucked, and it kind of was giving me a long maxi slip dress vibe, so I really like how that blended together. And then just layering the blazer over top, I think this is just a really chic evening look that was so easy to put together, like so easy. I love that. So the previous look felt a little bit more nighttime and this to me is something that's a bit more casual and daytime. So just layering the Reformation sweater, the striped sweater over top, I think just makes it really cute, really easy to wear. And then layering the moto jacket over top just brings it back to myself. It makes me feel a little bit more like me because I'm not 100% comfortable in skirts these days yet. I love a maxi, it's pretty much there for me, but the moto jacket makes it my security blanket. And this is another look that I decided to experiment with. So I swapped out the black boots for the brown croc leather ones, threw on a t-shirt to keep it really casual, and then stuck with that same brown blazer. I just think the blazer is a really great layering piece. It makes me feel at home. And I think this is a really good combination of casual, feminine, and elevated all at the same time. And why not? Back to the sweater. I just am loving how many ways you can wear this sweater and all the things you can pair it back to. And then I also just swapped out the boots for the flats, which I think makes it really casual but still feminine. And then that slouchy bag, I think, just ties it all together. It's a really good juxtaposition of casual and chic at the same time. Same with this look. So instead of the more structured feminine sweater, I just threw on my oversized cashmere sweater from Uncle Studios. I mean, this might be too oversized and oversized for some people, a lot of fabric, but I just think it's really easy and chic. It's just like an effortless throw on look. If you're going to the farmer's market, if you're going for a coffee in the morning, I think this is such a perfect look for that. My god, we've done 30 looks already. So this is more of a workwear look for me, I think. I like the idea of like the black and the camel together. These pants I really only ever wear to work. Super easy, and I love combining more business casual and like nicer, in quotes, pieces with a moto jacket. I think it really just creates a lot of really fun friction. And then for this look, all I did was swap out the camel pants for all black. And I think this still creates a really cool textured all black everything outfit. Really easy, still professional that I could wear to work. And back with the black and brown. Just can't go wrong. I love it. Again, this is something that I would wear to work. It feels professional, still feels cool though at the same time. And that's kind of always what I'm going for when I'm getting dressed. And I really hope you can see that with these capsules, it's just a simple swap of one or two pieces and it can really change the vibe and the elements in a look. It doesn't have to be complicated and it's really nothing extravagant. And here I just missed the check blazer, so we decided to throw that in. Okay, this dress I love. This dress is an outfit on its own and it's giving bombshell, it's giving cool, it's giving a little bit of Star Trek. So for this look, I really like it paired back to the Mary Jane because the dress is so structural and modern in a way, but still feminine because it's that mini dress. And then bringing it back to something a little bit more classic and demure like the Mary Jane, I think it's just a really interesting, really cool contrasting look. And I just wanted to show you how versatile this dress is in the sense that you can kind of layer it up so that it's almost like a separate top and mini skirt together. So all I did was layer the uncle cashmere sweater over top and you could wear it on its own like that. And I think the shoulder pads in the dress 
add a really cool bit of sneaky structure to the sweater that way but if you can't get your hands on this dress because I do recognize that it is expensive I'm so lucky to have it but all you really need is like a shoulder pad t-shirt and mini skirt and you can definitely get away with something similar all right this look I just wanted to try to see if I could kind of make it a little bit more sporty because the dress is kind of like a denim -y, almost like chino kind of material um, for me I don't think high tops and a skirt is all that flattering but maybe more of a low top I think would be better for me but I just thought it was fun to experiment and that's what getting dressed is all about now getting back into more of my vibe, I love these knee-high boots with this dress. I do not mind that the boots are brown and the dress is black. Again, I love that idea of black and brown together. I think it looks so good. And then here, pairing it back to the Mary Janes. And before I had the trench coat, now I have the moto jacket on. And again, I love that sort of hardness and softness that I'm playing around with together. Oh my god guys we're almost there we have two more looks this is something i am so excited to wear i think i'm gonna wear this to jeff's birthday dinner when we go out on a date for his birthday i love this outfit i love the strong shoulders of the blazer the dress together the sort of shiny texture of the boots this is my favorite outfit in this whole video and the final look, we swapped out the brown blazer for this black one, and I feel like it almost blends together so that it looks like a blazer dress. I think this is another amazing, cool, feminine, but still really modern and chic combination. I like the blazer open, I like it closed. We made it. Look number 40, this is one of my favorites too. So that was all the outfits for today's video. I think I honestly could have created a lot more, but I think I just started to get really sweaty and hungry but doing this capsule wardrobe exercise and physically going to try on outfits and seeing how many i can come up with is honestly one of my favorite ways to stay acquainted and have fun with my wardrobe of course it's a lot of fun to get new pieces and play around with them but i think the key here is to illustrate the power of styling and focusing on versatility in your own wardrobe a single piece doesn't have to be worn in a single way and I really hope this just shows you how versatile and how much wear and potential you can get out of your clothes if you decide to just have fun with them and play around with styling. And if anything, this has made me so much more excited about my own wardrobe and the clothes that I have already. So let me know which outfit was your favorite and what you will be styling from your own capsule this season. Leave me a comment down below. I love to hear from you. Thank you again to Babbel for sponsoring today's video. And again, if you were interested in learning a new language, then you can get 60% off your Babbel subscription by clicking the link in the description below or by scanning this QR code right here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up if you're here and you like this video. And I'll see you next Sunday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.